Hey there. Jessica Stansberry here from this channel. Hey Jessica. And today I'm going to help you decide whether Trello or Asana is the best project management system for your life and business. Okay, so vendors some fighting words, Trello and Asana. People have very, very strong feelings about one or the other usually. And I'll be completely honest, I'm a huge Trello fan, but I completely see the reason why people would want to use Asana or want to use Trello or want to just use a notebook. Like I totally get it. And I think I've figured out what makes some people drawn to Trello and some people drawn to Asana. So I'm here to help you make that decision if you're trying to decide whether Trello or Asana is right for you. Now, before we really get into it, if you have no freaking clue what I'm talking about, Trello and Asana both are essentially project management systems. So whether you're running a business or you're a busy mom running a home and you need a better way to do it, either of these programs is designed to help you run things more seamlessly and manage projects. Trello is designed for the person who's a little bit more visually minded. So if you like to draw things out in boxes to figure out a problem, or you're a sucker for a wall full of sticky notes, or you just like to draw out diagrams and pictures to figure out things and to make your mind see the full picture, Trello is probably the more fitting option for you. Now, if you're someone who loves a good checklist and who likes to line out items for the day or the week or the month or whatever in a linear way and then check them off or cross them out or whatever, Asana might be better for you. Although I beg to differ because Trello has a checklist system as well. Neither one is a bad thing. Neither one is a good thing. I think that everybody has different styles in which they think, in which their brain works, and these two systems are built in a way to play on both. Now, Trello works in a way where you have different boards for basically every project. Now, you, could, you can combine them and we can get into that, but really it's a different board for every project. And then you can have different lists within every board, so it makes it a little bit more easy to expand within one project and break it down into you know smaller tasks or by team member or whatever. Asana, you can also do that, but everything is you know in one project and then kind of broken out in different lists with headings for who it's for or what day it's due or however you have it sorted. So I again am a big fan of Trello. But the people who I find that love Asana are generally in that type A category and people who love Trello are generally in type B. Now those are generalizations, they're not hard and fast rules, but that is who I see likes each one of them. I'm a total type B, so I will admit to that. Now Asana can let you list out things just super, super, super neatly. You can do it by project as well, but it's just more linear and so if you find yourself um, picking math over art or picking statistics over advertising, then you might find yourself liking Asana more. Now I'm not trying to stereotype because I know plenty of people in either category who like the other system, but this is just to get you started on the right foot. So those are essentially the differences between Asana and Trello. And now actually I'm going to jump on screen and show you each one in a different window and how projects are managed in each system so that you can make an even better, more educated decision. When you open up each one, you're brought to a different position. So with Trello, you're brought to all of your boards. So these are listed in order of importance or the way you've organized them. So there, your top ones will generally be at the top of your screen. On Asana, which is the screen on the right here, you are brought to your tasks immediately. So anything assigned to you will show up here. Now, once, let's just go into a board in Trello and I wanna show you the difference. So this is a Trello board or what you could consider a project. Each board houses its own project in some way, shape, or form. So 
you'll notice you can make things very linear in here, but you can also make them very visual. So this is a weekly to-do list for myself and my team inside of Trello, and everything's laid out by day, visual, very, very visually, just like a calendar, um, and also each card can be visual as well. Inside of Asana, you have things laid out by project, but they're listed out in tasks. So if I add a task to this, it's just going to show up in a list. I could add different sections, but then everything will show up under that list. So you could you could have you know a project on Asana, and what it's going to look like is project name, heading, these tasks, other heading, these tasks, other heading, these tasks, and you're going to scroll down and scroll throughout them. And when you check them off, they disappear. In Trello, you could have a whole board where each list has its own heading and under each list has its own checklist. Um, and then the same with that though, once you have checked it off, it will disappear, which is really awesome. So with every Asana list or project, everything looks the same, right? It's all a list with tasks underneath it. With Trello, you can make things look different and move things around and have completely different project types. So where this one's like a calendar, I could actually have another project type that was, you know, a sales funnel or something like that. So you can make your projects look different. So for instance, here's this project where it's nothing like a calendar and it's just a list of things, which is different than Asana. All right guys, that's it. So if you've been hearing about Asana and Trello and knowing you need to get your life and or your business in order, but you have no freaking clue which one to pick, I hope that just helped. If you have a preference and you like Asana or you like Trello better, leave it in the comments below. I love to find my fellow Trellos, but I also like to see how people are using Asana in a way that works for them as well. And until next time, find the big red subscribe button and click it. Click it. Use that finger and click it because you don't want to miss none of this.